Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about reactions of haloarenes. Let us begin with the reactions. The first reaction of haloarenes is called as electrophilic substitution reactions. Now, in electrophilic substitution reaction, we will take the first compound haloarene, like for example, chlorobenzene, and react it with any halogen reactant like for example chlorine so this molecule is chlorobenzene let us now react this with the electrophilic reagent that is chlorine molecule cl dot cl dash cl and this reaction is going to take place in dark because in light we have free radical halogenation the catalyst used here is fecl3 now the nature of chlorine is that it is an electron donating group via resonance and hence it is going to be ortho para directing group. The reason why is it ortho para directing we will have to understand is because of the phenomenon of resonance. So resonance is the key factor which makes the chlorine ortho para directing group. Let's see the resonating structures. Now you can see that the electrons from chlorine are getting delocalized on benzene at position ortho and now at para position and now again at ortho position the negative charge is coming and finally the benzene chlorobenzene is neutralized. We will label them as structure 1 to 5 and we can see that ortho para and ortho carbons are electron rich. So in this manner we can make out that ortho and para positions are those positions where the Cl plus from the halogen can easily attack. So when the attack takes place at ortho and para position the products formed will be ortho dichlorobenzene. We can draw okay and the Cl minus goes out and from here H plus will go out from the, uh, the benzene ring. So that H plus and the Cl minus becomes the byproduct HCl. So please remember, when such groups are attached, which are electron donating via resonance, we will get ortho para directed products. This is the minor product and we will get para dichlorobenzene as the major product. Always remember to write the major and the minor products in exam. This becomes my major product because it is the attack is sterically less hindered. Now let us see the second reaction, electrophilic substitution reaction of benzene that is nitration. For nitration we will take again the same substrate chlorobenzene and react it with a mixture HNO3 plus H2SO4 concentrated. This is called nitrating mixture. This can be a one mark question in the exam. Nitrating mixture, what is it? So it's a mixture of Kong HNO3 plus Kong H2SO4. The electrophile is NO2 plus known as nitronium ion which is generated from nitric acid. So we have three questions. What is nitrating mixture? It's a mixture of concentrated HNO3 plus H2SO4. What is electrophile? So NO2 plus its name is nitronium ion. What's the function of H2SO4? So it's a catalyst and it also acts as a very good dehydrating agent. It helps in generation of nitronium ion. Nitronium ion looks like this. So over here again the same logic chlorine is an electron donating group via resonance and hence it is going to be ortho para directing group and when benzene attacks the nitronium ion the electron pi electron gets delocalized on oxygen atom now how the reaction takes place and how we get products let's have a look at that so the first ortho nitrochlorobenzene is formed as a minor product and para nitrochlorobenzene is formed as the major product Water is the byproduct here, we can see. Alright, so minor and major products are to be remembered and written in the exam, and water also should be written in the exam. What is nitronium ion can be asked a question. How is it generated? I'm going to show you now. This is nitric acid. You can understand that if benzene as a nucleophile attacks the nitrogen atom, the OH minus will be leaving from here and from benzene the H plus will be coming out so H plus and the OH minus will give you water
Let's have a look at two more reactions of electrophilic substitution. The first is Friedel-Crafts alkylation, where we are going to alkylate a haloarene like chlorobenzene. And the alkylating agent which I am going to use is alkyl chloride, that is methyl chloride in this case, in the presence of Lewis acid and hydrous aluminium chloride or ferric chloride. Let's see how the answers we will get here, ortho and para. The function of FeCl3 remains the same. It will help in polarizing the reactant to give you CH3+. Right? So in this manner, we will be getting the ortho and para product. When ortho attack takes place, we will get orthochlorobenzene. And when para takes place, we will take, we'll get parachlorobenzene. So here are the structures of those two compounds, 2-chlorotoline and 4-chlorotoline as the major product. Similarly, we can have a look at Friedel-Crafts acylation, where we treat chlorobenzene with acetyl chloride in the presence of anhydrous FeCl3, and the ortho attack takes place to give you chloroacetophenone as a minor product, and the para attack also takes place to give you 4-chloroacetophenone. This compound is called acetyl chloride. All right. So in this manner, we have seen that Friedel-Crafts alkylation and acylation will give you two two products. This is acetyl chloride, which is known as acyl chloride also. So that's all from this video. And in the next video, we'll see the next reaction of halorines, that is nucleophilic substitution reactions. Till then, keep watching, do subscribe, and keep studying.